Welcome to my video of movie production gone wrong. What do you do if you want something dangerous moving? Employ some people similar to those in this movie. Sorcerer. Directed by William Friedkin, this 1977 movie is about some nitroglycerin being transported across South America. Sorcerer is the second adaptation of the book Le Soleil de la Pure that was published in 1950 and written by Georges Arnaud. One of the key scenes in the movie was a bridge over a river of raging water, the first bridge was constructed over the Dominican Republic River, before being constructed over the Papaloapan River in Mexico. Both these rivers dried up before filming could commence, which was a financial blow to the production company. Costing $3 million, for a 12-minute scene in the movie. William Friedkin started off with a $15 million budget, that escalated to $22 million. Paramount and Universal Pictures became involved due to the expenses mounting, which later William Friedkin later filed a lawsuit against, and Cinematic International Corporation handled the Sorcerer's international release. Not only did the director have to deal with the frustration of the locations being changed, he had to deal with the arguments between crew members. Which is not surprising to say the least, especially when 50 crew members came down with malaria. Some of the crew also suffered from food poisoning and gangrene, plus the director's attitude towards these crew members was not helpful. As William Friedkin once said, quote, no matter how difficult your struggle is, there's no guarantee for success. This movie also failed commercial advertising, and gained bad reviews which made the gross of $5.9 million. This movie has also been considered a remake of The Wages of Fear, which was released in 1953, although the director William Friedkin highly disagrees. The Sorcerer was also remastered by Friedkin which premiered at the 70th Venice International Film Festival on 29 August 2013. Then later 22nd of April 2014, the movie was released on Blu-ray. William Friedkin also admits that he would not change a thing about this movie. Are most scientists mad? This next movie proves there can be mad scientists. The Island of Dr. Moyo, which was first directed by Richard Stanley who was fired by New Line Cinema. Only three days after the production team arrived in Australia for filming, John Frankenheimer was brought in to take Stanley's position. This 1996 movie is based on an 1896 novel that shares the same title, written by H.G. Wells. The budget for the movie ballooned as Marlon Brando who played Dr. Moyo was brought in after four years of development. Marlon's role was supposed to be expanded, but he retreated to his island after finding out his daughter committed suicide. After a while Marlon returned to the production and improvised with his role as he had the script read to him through an earpiece. Bruce Willis was originally given the role as Edward Douglas but due to ongoing divorce procedures, Bruce had to drop out. Many problems occurred with Val Kilmer who played Dr. Montgomery, was originally given the role of Edward Douglas. Val, Kilmer wanted to reduce his time filming, many arguments occurred between Val and other crew members, which probably was down to having divorce papers handed to him on set. The original director Richard Stanley brought in Rob Morrow to replace the role of Edward Douglas, who quit production due to arguments with the script writers and David Thewlis was brought in to take Morrow's place. A hurricane also slowed down production, there were also rumors that Richard Stanley was wandering the forest dressed as an extra to visit the set occasionally. Most of the problems caused this movie to fail and it also had many negative reviews. Lost Soul, The Doomed Journey of Robert Stanley's Island of Dr. Moyo is a documentary released in 2004, that details the director's experiences during and after production, in this documentary it details why Robert Stanley left the production. 
In 2021 another documentary was released called Val. In this documentary it gives insight into Kilmer's point of view about the events that happened while production was underway. Since the production, director John Frankenheimer vowed he would never climb Mount Everest nor work with Val Kilmer again. This next movie is absolutely wild, especially with the location. Raw. Directed by Noel Marshall. It is surprising that no one was killed during this 1981 adventure comedy. It follows the story of a naturalist named Hank played by Noel Marshall, who lives on a nature reserve in the middle of Africa. Who is visited by his family, although the fictional family in the movie is actually Noel's real family. Tippi Hedren is Noel's wife who plays the role of Madeleine, his daughter Melanie Griffith plays herself as well as his son John Marshall who also plays himself. Noel Marshall wrote the story after he and his wife visited a nature reserve in Africa, while there they noticed an abandoned house that had been dominated by a pride of lions. The production of this movie took 11 years, and cost $17 million. Noel Marshall started writing the script in 1970 and to get used to wildcat attitudes. They adopted big cats and allowed them to live in their Californian home. During production an estimated 70 people were seriously injured by the wild cats. Melanie Griffith had most of her face stitched up with 50 stitches after a lion attack. Tippi Hendred was bitten on the throat and Jan de Bont, who worked as a cinematographer had to have 200 stitches after nearly having her scalp torn off by a lion. Also a flood caused by a dam that destroyed equipment and much of the set. This movie was supposed to be for the whole family, however due to some of the scenes the critics were not impressed, as sometimes the actors' expressions were real instead of acting. The movie was released in North America first, but it was John and Noel Marshall that helped the movie go international. Raw did not do well at the box office, even though it was a popular movie in Germany and Japan, gaining a total gross of $2 million. Alpha Film and Filmway Pictures acquired the movie, Draft House Films released the movie again in 2015, with the message of protecting wild cats, where it was praised by the critics for the interactions with the animals. However, it was still badly criticized for the dialogue, editing, inconsistent tone, plot and story. Since the production Tippi Hendred founded the Raw Foundation and, and helped to establish a sanctuary called the Shambhala Preserve, also in 1985 Tippi Hendred wrote a book about the sanctuary. There has been a cult following since too. Comedy and politics usually don't work, this one certainly did. Team America, World Police Directed by Trey Parker, this action comedy was screened on a sound stage. It is about the implications of global terror and the politics of the United States. Team America is a paramilitary police force that recruits an actor from Broadway to save the world from Islamic terrorists and liberal Hollywood actors, that the North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il is funding. Each marionette was controlled by four people and they were technical problems with the marionettes, which was difficult in each scene, sometimes it took an entire day especially with the miniature effects. Nine times the Motion Picture Association of America returned the movie, due to sexual explicit scenes, which they gave a NC-17 rating for. After filming was over. Matt Stone did not want to see another marionette again and with the 20 hours a day of filming, Matt Stone became really agitated, where his friends and parents did not want to be around him. Which made Matt feel pretty crap about himself, as well as the coffee and sleeping pills affecting him. On the 14th of October 2004, Team America, World Police premiered at the Denver Film Festival. Paramount Pictures released the movie all over America the next day. The total production cost $32 million, with good reviews the total gross of this movie from a worldwide audience was $51 million. 
the historical events in this next movie are highly questionable by some. Ropan Yue Directed by Kevin Reynolds, this 1994 drama is based on Easter Island's history, where the Birdman cult is in search of sooty turns egg, that the Hanau Ep have told stories about for centuries. Due to the remote location of Easter Island, it made production difficult. Flights to Chile's mainland were not often enough to keep the food supply sufficient for everyone. This movie cost 20 million to make, after release it was a complete failure as it only made $305,070. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like my content. To keep up to date with any future videos press that notification bell or follow me on Twitter at withanet1.